everybody. How are you? Happy hump day. It's Wednesday at Paralegal Coffee Talk. How are you doing? Um, we're going to talk about the fact that as you go on this journey towards a paralegal career, you can feel as if it's taking longer than you thought. Well, let me tell you, when you start the, your first job, you'll feel like you're moving like a snail because you have still a ton to learn and you're learning but your brain can only handle so much so before you start the career you're absorbing a lot in order to get you there and you feel like wow this is this is more complicated than I thought it's gonna take longer than I thought I thought this would be a snap well I said that I absolutely said that when it was the uh, night before I started my new job, my first job in legal, and I said to my husband, how complicated can this be? You know, I thought, you know, I'd have it nailed within a week. Well, no, I was wrong. I had a lot to learn. I wasn't saying it to be full of myself. I really was trying to figure out what is so complicated about this. Um, it's a compli any area of law is complicated. So as long as we can wrap our head around just that statement, we're going to do fine. Hi, Ro, how are you? Yeah, I got gotcha. you. <laughs> Ro says, right now, it's so difficult. OMG. Yeah. And the more you know before, you hear me say this? like a broken record. The more you know before you jump in, the easier it is. Now, I knew nothing going in, no, knew nothing. So I, you know, I had some pressure on me, but I also, the first place I worked in, I was working as a legal receptionist, a legal secretary, and an all-around errand runner. And I saw right away that the paralegal field would be for me, not what I was doing, although I was being allowed to do a lot more than um, the, the paralegal there wanted me to do because I had an attorney who put me under his wing and was helping me along. And we were working trials together <laughs> within the first few months that I was there, but that was a huge blessing. Did I know everything I was doing? No. Sometimes you get into those situations and you are flying by the seat of your pants, you know? And I just had to like buckle up and hold on and try to understand why we were doing certain things and ask a lot of questions. Hi, Tracy. Good to see you. Um, yeah, taking notes, definitely. Definitely, um, you know, the after I was after I was in the field for probably a year, year and a half. I thought to myself, "There's no book out here to help us." There was a book out. I won't name the title of it. It didn't have anything to do with being a paralegal, um, but. It was still helpful in some ways, but not the ways I needed it to be helpful. That's why I wrote Legal Break-In for total beginners. It, legal Break-In, my book, is not for people that are already in the legal field. This is for people who know, you know, want to know the basics of what they need to even consider the field. And, um, hey, Sophia, good to see you. Yeah, it is. Well, it's my favorite thing, Sophia. Sophia says, hi, Leslie. It sounds so interesting doing trials. Yep. If you like that sort of thing, you know, when I, the first job had me doing that and the paralegal didn't want me to do that, but the attorney knew that it would be a, we would be a good team. And so this was before the internet. Yeah, I know the olden days, but so how, but fax machines, believe it or not, were the high tech thing. Whoa. 
And we, I went home. He said, look, you have a, I had a 45 minute drive from work. He said, you have a long way to go, go home and we'll fax stuff back and forth. We weren't even using email then. So I would do revisions to a document because he had a trial then in a couple days and boom, I'd fax him that. Then he, we talk on the phone. <laughs> so there, you know, people just had, did things differently then. Now we've got this major technology, yes, which makes life easier. But as you go to, through this journey, you've got to cut yourself some slack because it takes a while for your mind to grab hold of all of this. That's why I, t I tell people, take my class and make this easier on yourself, the Paralegal Inner Circle class. It will do nothing but teach you how to, um, number one, teach you how to apply for the right jobs and how to do that, but also how to manage your workload and how to be a true paralegal in that capacity, right? So let's talk about what does this take? It takes when the going gets tough in your head, whether you're not in the field yet and you're thinking, oh, the pandemic has killed everything. No, it hasn't. It has not. So it's just a change. A drastic change but the law the law field the paralegal field and attorneys are not going anywhere so hang on to that thought it takes hanging on that things are going to change there'll be a new normal you've heard that phrase before you've got to persevere that means see it through so you stay on the track that you're on and that it will get easier. If you put that work in to try to grab hold of new legal knowledge, to up your skill sets, six months from now, yes, six months from now, you need to look back and go, look how far I've come. That's why I tell you, track what you're learning. What did you learn today or tomorrow? What do you have planned to learn tomorrow? If you don't focus, then you won't get there. So you've got to, what can I do to make this easier on myself? What can I learn today so I don't have all that stress on me when I start the job, okay? Perseverance, you stay on track, you stay the course, stay on target, and do away with as many distractions as you can within reason. Now, when I'm trying to, to read something and study something, I've got two dogs who, as you well know, if you've seen some of my videos, you might hear them whining and crying in the background if I try to record at the house. That's why I'm in my car. Um, I also have my hubby asking me questions or wants to talk about something, but the distractions I'm talking about are on the TV. Or you know you're watching something on YouTube um, you're watching Netflix you've got to allocate time every day for this so it always takes longer than you thought you're gonna pick up some things like this oh yeah okay I understand that other things will be as clear as mud and you'll be like I don't even understand that language <laughs> And they would use some words I hadn't heard before. I mean, not just some, a lot of words. I had no idea what a plaintiff was. What is a defendant? What is a plaintiff? What's a petitioner? I had no idea. That's why I tell you, go to my website on paralegalcoffeetalk.com and click on bar charts and get that bar chart for legal terminology. Don't don't think you have to memorize all this. It's a reference tool. You carry it with you. When you go to your first job, you bring it with you. Okay? And pretty soon, you're going to be talking. You're going to be speaking like a lawyer. Hi, Destiny. Good to see you. Glad you're here. Um, so, you heard the term make lemonade or, um, 
or take lemons and make lemonade right now it can be really bitter it's a bitter pill to swallow because there's a lot to learn but also let at the six month mark I want you to be able to turn around and look at the list you made of everything you've learned and feel very proud you know it's when you land that first job and that will come if you're in you're outside of that first job right now because people aren't hiring now's the time to prepare now's the time to do it okay so that's making lemonade out of lemons this shutdown time if you're without a job or you have a lot more time on your hands and you feel like there's bitterness setting in because you feel like everything's been kiboshed. You've got to switch your mindset to know that having some more time to learn some more things about this mm -hmm. career and what you have to do in specific areas of law will do nothing but help you. And that takes focus and staying on track, staying the course. Um, it will take longer than you ever expected as far as absorbing all the legal knowledge. It's going to pay off, totally pay off. And it may seem overwhelming and more complicated than you thought. But then you have to question, what were you, like me, what were you thinking it was going to be? That's the exact question I asked was, how complicated can it be? Well, we're talking about law. And law can be complicated. And everything around it. But are you up for it? Hi, Destiny. Destiny says, this is confirmation. I finished the paralegal program and so hard and we are not having a clinical we have to take another elective class um, you know there's a whole area though of the practical side of paralegalism that people um, don't really understand that that's the missing link see so knowing how to help the attorney on day one and two so important and that's where my class comes in and so keep that in mind I've had paralegals in their first job in the first month or two of their job and they're like I don't know where everything fits together or how to manage any of this and I'm uh, I'm frightened because it wasn't taught so keep that in mind that being taught by a paralegal is important because paralegals don't do what the attorney does we manage everything in the law firm and that is imperative to know how to do when you get into your first job you will feel like you're moving like a snail just had a student who's taking my class for the second time to go over it again because my class lasts six months and she was fortunate fortunate enough to land a great job but wants to go over it all again so she said I when I mentioned it in the video that you feel like you're moving slowly that's that was after that she got into the job she's like exactly I feel I felt like I and still feel like I'm moving like a snail that describes the first six months perfectly couldn't describe it more perfectly so if you go into the first job and you feel that you're catching on to some things or before you land a job you're catching on to some things other things are whoa I don't understand this that's normal <laughs> that's not the new normal that's just normal and it takes time I'm gonna tell you before you can wrap your head around some things totally about a specific area of law once you're on the job it may take you a year to two years because there's just you don't see all the scenarios 
you know, and then new scenarios arise and you have to work with the attorney on that. You learn something every day. And what's, what's happening with that? Well, as you track every document you're learning how to draft and, and do and new things you're learning how to do, guess, and you, you track it in your notebook or on the computer, well, your value quotient just shoots through the roof as far as your career value quotient. You're already valuable to him, but your career value goes through the roof. So if you can stay on track and look at that end game, you have got it made, okay? God put you in this position for a reason. He drew you to this career for a reason. Never lose sight of that, okay? Never lose sight of that, that that's what happened. You know, that there's something that is being cooked up and you can't see the end game yet. That's okay. Just get ready, buckle up, and enjoy the ride. Okay? Because it will have its highs and its lows and everything in the middle. And so that's your norm. That's normal. And as a paralegal of 30 years, I can tell you that that's normal. And there's not a day goes by that I don't find something I don't know anything about and I'm researching it and trying to increase my own knowledge about a topic. And attorneys do that as well, if they're smart, right? So, look at the task or that thing that feels overwhelming and how could you break it down into manageable pieces? Is there a way to look at it that way instead of the whole enchilada, the whole picture? You know, if he's, because you know how the mind races and starts, what if, what if, what if? Stop with the what ifs and just focus on bite sized, manageable pieces. How can I improve in this little area? What can I learn more about this area of law? Ask yourself that question like, what step will you take today to solve that problem? Because you as a paralegal are a major detective and problem solver. Put that hat on and, and understand that's who you will be and maybe who you are right now, right? So make your to-do list and do as much as you can. One item a day, maybe one item a day and cross it off happily happily check it off but keep that list in front of you because I want you to go like this you see me do that in my videos add a boy add a girl good job say that to yourself okay I learned how to do that you're increasing your career value and your your legal knowledge and then will you do yourself a favor that when you have a week where you learned so much and there were other, other moments where you felt like a failure, I want you to look at that list that you created and then celebrate that list of new things that you learned how to do instead of beating yourself up. Okay, if the pattern, that's, that's a, very much like negative self-talk, right? So we want to get away from negative self-talk as much as we can. I want you to write down what you have learned, what you already know, and keep adding to it. Put dates on it. When did you learn that? Just make a simple list up on a notebook paper. Keep it with you. If you're carrying a purse, tuck it in there. Guys, put it in your pocket. I want you to open it up and say, I learned that. Okay, add to it. And don't look at it as a mountain. You're chipping away at that boulder, that mountain, one, one little peck at a time. And within six months, your knowledge will be incredible compared to what it was on day one. Got it? Okay. Um, celebrate.
besides doing this, go do something. If it means going through a coffee shop for coffee or tea or um, doing something special for yourself in a small way that celebrates you pushing so hard, that celebrates you. And I mean you celebrating you, okay? Doesn't mean that the whole family has to come out. Well, they can. Um, well, they really can't now. But I want you to celebrate. In spite of these tough times, I want you to break those procrastination um, items into those bite-sized goals, okay? Break them down into bite-sized goals. This gets, this journey can get messy along the way. It's not a smooth journey ever. It's like this with twists and turns and unexpected events. So you prepare your mind for that as much as you can. You can't look into the future, but you can try your best and understand how far you've come. Okay, I had to remind myself of that. Because, why? Because there were days that I felt like a failure, a total failure. And I thought, I'm not gonna, why am I doing that? I had a, I, I'm asking myself that, why? Why am I doing that? And I had to dig deep. You know, that just because I made a mistake, or not even, felt like I was moving too slowly, or I was, boy, everybody else must be a genius in this field, and I can't grab hold of this. I felt that way about some aspects of Microsoft Word when our law firm switched over and felt that one, you know, some things were too, too difficult compared to WordPerfect, but I had to learn it. I had no choice, but I felt like a failure in some things like, oh, I should have known that, but no, I shouldn't have. It was not something I had come across. So it's a constant learning, but Looking at yourself as a failure is not going to get you where you need to go. You're not a failure to him. Never have been. No matter what's happened in your life. I'm not a failure because I was a single mom. Um, my daughter is now, she's going to be 46 in July. So, no. There's, you know, things happen for a reason start to plan your attack. Okay, I need to learn more about this. Let me go look at that. Instead of watching this show or being distracted and unfocused and or fear is keeping me from investigating. Fear, procrastination is rooted in fear. You know, here's procrastination, but down here, the roots that go, that go deep, that's fear. So let's just cut that off right at the ground level and start working your to-do list of the things you still have to learn and get better at. There's not one person who broke into this field who arrived <laughs> knowing a lot they all started out where they arrived like me and didn't think they'd have a lot more to learn. How could that possibly be? Sounds egotistical, right? But it really wasn't. It was a true question I had. And then I learned in the first week how much more I had to learn. And so I thought, okay, cut yourself some slack, Leslie, and give yourself some space. And I'm talking to you now. Give yourself that space to learn. Okay? That's what I want you to do. And don't be so hard on yourself. Because this is just the beginning of your journey. And you're going to do really well. And then, oh, 
It might just be two or three years down the road once you're in your first job and maybe you're in it already where you're going to be showing other people how to do things and you're going to be oh so merciful aren't you you're going to be merciful to them you're going to have a lot of mercy on them and be kind because you're going to go back and remember the vulnerability that you felt you know i run across people who are not that way in this field who act like divas or devos that's not who you want to be and none of you here will be that but i run across that that's not a pretty thing so being able to pass on your knowledge then to somebody else is a uh, gift and it's not um it's it's a blessing to be able to pass on anything to you guys so i'm grateful for you and for what you're going to do in your careers and how many people how many clients you're going to deal with instead of looking at them as a pain in the neck that you will understand that they're dealing with a hardship and they need the attorney and you but especially the attorney regarding advice to help them and you to do the work well and to be warm to them so that they feel comfortable in spite of going through something that they are where they have to seek out an attorney and um, so I know that's what you will be and sometimes you'll come across the opposite but you be concerned with how you are and the effort that you put in and care so much about the work that you do that you strive for excellence and sometimes we don't meet the mark and we have to cut ourselves some slack again and do better the next time okay so if you guys if you have any questions whatsoever while I'm on here ask away don't be shy because um, I'll hang around if you guys have anything you want to ask but Sophia was saying um, I was talking in our private Facebook group about because Sophia is um, a, a, a student of mine I was talking in, a, in our private Facebook group about personal injury and work and working trials is my favorite thing no not everybody likes to do that other people have other areas of law they're interested in right um, that have nothing to do with being in the courtroom or any of that um, I dearly love being in the courtroom I like seeing my the trial I've been working on seeing what happens I've um, been in a courtroom <laughs> with my attorney and people in the audience which we call the gallery were uh, one guy in particular this was in Oklahoma was as the jury filed out this guy started he was just a nice older man he was and Oklahomans are very polite he was trying to say hi to the jury you cannot speak to the jury at any time and so the other attorney um, almost he tried to get the case dismissed so it's that type of thing and it did not get dismissed um, but I had to talk to them in the gallery my attorney asked me to talk with them and advise everybody there to not speak to the jury and then they went okay okay because um, the jury was filing out for lunch and we were all standing up as they filed out and this guy starts talking to them that's a huge no-no so it was interesting to see that and what happened as a result but you never know what's gonna happen in a trial and that's kinda why I like it you know it can be very odd and unusual um, and things happen you never expect but you have to look at again research those areas of law plural areas not just one that you might have an interest in and learn all you can about it okay and it will take you some time yes it'll feel like it's longer than it should be but you're right on time you know you're right on target keep going all right so I'm gonna sign off have a great one guys have a great 
Wednesday night for me. Tonight, I'm going to watch The Masked Singer. <laughs> That's that's my latest and greatest um, show that I'm watching. There's really not much on. So um, have a great one, and I'll talk to you uh, in tomorrow's video. Take care. Bye.